Yeah, you never lose in Bristol. But I'm telling you, there's these guys, yeah, that used to fucking try to argue with me on Instagram when, let's say, like, big up made you think, made you think might post up something like, this particular Rolex watch, Sky Dweller, or whatever in it, yeah, it goes up in value 10 grand per year, something like that, just throwing out numbers out there. I'll come underneath that post and say, nah, like, I don't care how much it goes up in value. A property is a better investment than a Rolex. These guys from the urban community, oh, you're an idiot, Jay Dumb. You should delete your account for making stupid comments like that, fam. The reason why they're angry and that is because they know they can never get on the property ladder because their credit is so shit, blood, and they have no money. Like, how can a sane human being think that buying a watch is a better investment than a fucking property? There are people right now living in manor houses that their far grandfather times five bought that they couldn't afford to buy it themselves. You know what? They have it there because, and they're living in it because their great grandfather times five bought it. There's nobody right now who owns a watch that their grandfather times five owned. Watches will never have the longevity of property will. So yeah, it might go up in value faster, short term, but long term, it's nowhere near a, um, a bare asset. Oh shit! The man am I buying these watches because they want to stunt blood. If they truly buy it as an investment, they'll buy that watch, they'll lock it in a safe that's locked in a vault that's got six Rottweilers standing in front of it with TNT dynamite. Yeah. Anyone that gets close, I blow their blood clot up, yeah? These guys are buying these 30 grand watches, yeah? So that they can stunt in front of broke people. And end up getting peeled in the toilets when they go to the club. If they truly was buying it for an investment, yeah? What they'll do is they'll buy their AP, Cartier, Breitling or Rolex watch and leave it in their safe and never touch it. Maybe on their birthday, they'll take it out and wrap that blood clot up in a cling film so they don't get no scratches or nothing like that. They're buying it because they want to stunt. But the thing is, yeah, only broke people, I promise you, majority, only broke people are going to be impressed by what shiny watch you got. I promise you, if you went to two different clubs, how the fuck, man, go suck your mum. Someone flagged up the life of harassment and bullying, you know. Anyway, if if, if you had two different clubs, yeah, one club has a bunch of urban people, just random old, broke sort of people, yeah, people from the urban community that care about drip, yeah, you had one club full of those people there, everyone's driving a Mercedes, everyone, you get me, is caring about what Kim Kardashian done yesterday, and everyone gives a damn about Chris Brown and the latest Montclair jacket that come out yet. So you got one party of those sorts of people, innit? Yeah, unfortunately, people that look like this. Yeah. Then you got another club full of doctors, lawyers, bankers, stockbrokers, and that. I promise you, the club where the people them care about the urban lifestyle and that, they will be rating you more for having that watch than the people who really have money and really have careers and that. The doctors, lawyers, stockbrokers, and bankers. Because urban people, all they care about is the flashy, flashy lifestyle. And that. That's all they care about. I promise you, the people them in the club that are doctors, bankers, lawyers and that, they'll be more impressed with someone that has five, ten properties than someone that has two or three of the latest Rolex watch. I promise you. It's a different mindset. And this is why the people in the club with the doctors and lawyers and that, those sorts of people, they will always be further ahead than the people who care about short-term gratification. I promise you, the people there at the club where all the people are urban and that, I promise you, I guarantee you, those people there who earn a lot less than the doctors and lawyers and stockbrokers and bankers, I promise you, those urban people, they probably drive nicer cars. All of them have got Mercedes. All of them have got Range Rovers. I promise you. 